Hey, so this is my brand new American Vintage Tele Deluxe. Um, this is the second one I've gotten. The first one um, had an issue at, at the nut, I think, um, but the in, there was an intonation issue right down here in the first couple of frets when you were fretting like open chords and it sounded really strange and off. Um, so they sent me another one, which was great, a Sweetwater. This one, unfortunately, is maybe worse. Um, it's got a really bad um, fretting out issue. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So it sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty good. But then when you get up here and you just do some basic, like, classic E minor pentatonic box, right? Like... I mean, I'm not even bending that far. I don't even think this is a full step. Like here's, here's the note that's a full step. Can't even do a full step. Before it frets out. Um, I mean, bummer. D's a little better. Like if you go up a little, like F sharp. I checked the intonation, or I checked the action, because you're probably thinking, well, the action could be low from the factory. So I busted out my gauge, and I, and I checked it. And at the 15th fret, I've got four dead even on the high E, four dead even on the B, four dead even on the G, a little over four on the D, a little over four on the A, and a little over four on the E. So this is stand, factory standard four action. Um, I mean, I have other... This is supposed to be 9.25 inch radius, um, which as far as I know it is, my, my radius gauges are downstairs. Um, but yeah, I mean, just really disappointing. Um, I mean, this is the second one that I've gotten and the second one that's had a major issue. So um, I'm gonna have to send this one back again. Um, just really disappointing. Really, really disappointed in this in these two guitars that I've gotten and these are both from Sweetwater So it's not like I bought them from Guitar Center or something where they got jacked up I mean these are from Sweetwater I'm, I'm kind of curious that this passed the Sweetwater 55 point inspection because it's just It's just not playable I mean it's really bad. It's really really bad. So um, I checked uh, the frets I got my fret rocker out and I, I did check it, but there's no uneven frets um, so if that's another thing you're thinking of, um, you know, oh, there's probably a high fret or something. There's not. So I think it's just the way it's set up. So I either have a choice of playing this with like really heinously high action or returning it. So I'm just going to return it. Um, bummer, because I really wanted one of these. And it's the second one of these that I've bought. But it's just um, it's just a no go, man. I mean, it's just it's unplayable. Um, so um, I own other 9.5 inch radius guitars that don't have this issue. Um, in fact, several of them. I own many Fenders with a 9.5 inch radius. I probably own like three or four of them. And I've never had this kind of issue where I couldn't get below a four. I mean, sometimes, you know, if you have a 9.5 inch radius and you try and go down to three or lower, you know, like a really, really super low setup, it'll cause problems, right? But like four should be very playable with a 9.5 inch radius. Um, so yeah, big bummer. Um, really disappointing. Can't recommend these right now. And in, in my opinion, the quality control on these is just really, really, really poor. Um, so sorry, Fender, missed the mark on this one.